This tutorial explains how to manually superimpose two time point scans in Slicer using the Transforms module. The Transform module is used as a pre-step of the voxel base registration to superimpose two time point scans. Load both scans into Slicer. Here, it's done with the drag and drop method. Check the Show Options box and check the Centered box next to each scan. This will change the volume origin making the computation of registration and superimposition of the modules easier. Click OK and wait for the scans to load. Link the views by clicking the pin icon in the upper left of either window. Then, click the double caret icon and the double ring icon. Select both volumes, one in each option, and move the crossfade bar to the middle. You can also take this opportunity to change the contrast of the scans if you wish. To start the superimposition, go to the Modules drop-down menu and click the Transforms module. In the Active Transform option, select Create New Linear Transform. There is a transformable box in the lower left portion of the screen. Select your second time point scan here and click the green arrow pointing to the transformed box on the right. Next, move the translation and rotation crossfade bars until the scans are aligned. Take your time, this clearly is an important step. You can use the bar in the upper drop down menu to fade between scans. When finished with the superimposition, the next step is to apply the matrix created with the Transform module. To do that, go to the Modules drop-down menu, click CMF Registration, then click Apply Matrix. In the opened window, for Input Volume, select the second time point scan, T2, or the one that just moved. For the Registration Matrix, select the matrix you've just created. Its name is probably Linear Transform 3, if you didn't rename it. For the Reference Volume option, select the first time point scan, T1, or the one that is fixed. And finally, for the Output Volume, select Create and Rename New Volume. Rename as you wish, then click OK, then Apply, and wait for the finalization. Once complete, select the scans and you should be able to see the movement from the superimposed scans. Remember to always save the files. Click on the lower save icon in the upper left corner and select the box next to Linear Transform 3 in addition to the scan created with the Apply Matrix module. It will likely be the file in the bottom of this window. You have the options to change name, file, and directory.